Application continued from July 7th, July 21st, and August 11th, 2015. Ramen Restaurant Group, LLC, doing business as Subai. Gal Balga, Pathak Manager, has applied for a new wine and malt beverages restaurant license at 2378 Mass Ave, with proposed hours of 11.30 a.m. to 12 a.m. Tuesday through Sunday, with a seating capacity of 22 inside and eight seasonal patio seats on the public sidewalk. Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. For the record, Attorney Sean Holtman Hol 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 is in Cambridge. I'm here with Falcon. Falcon Falcon? Yes, Falcon. F-A-L-G-U-N. Austin Falcon. P-A-T-H-A-K. Uh, so, uh, as noted, this is an application um, initially applied for requesting a beer and wine as well as a new CV and a uh, change of DBA. Um, we are not asking the Commission to uh, rule on the beer and wine. Um, we feel it's a bit early given some of the history of the restaurant going over the summer. Um, so we'd like to just uh, discuss just the CV and the change of DBA. So are you withdrawing the beer and wine application? Yes. And um, okay, we represented that previously, but I did do a formal withdrawal. So um, but for the record, we are withdrawing um, at this time. Um, if you want establish a restaurant, operate without incident, and if it's internally appropriate, we may or may not be back for that. Um, uh, at the previous hearings, there were significant issues, uh, health and safety. Uh, there was uh, fire and remediation work in the premises. There was also health and safety issues that needed to be remedied. Uh, over the course of the last couple of months, uh, we worked through with city departments to be able to uh, take care of those issues, both the fire um, issues as well as the health and sanitary um, issues. They, uh, frankly, they took longer than we anticipated, uh, but I think it was important to be able to, to get it right and to be able to come back to the commission with um, violation-free, and we believe uh, that we are at this time. Uh, we are currently uh, not open um, um, by, uh, by abiding to a cease and desist order, um, so we have uh, not been operating, um, not because of health and safety, but other issues. So. Um, we would like to approve the CV. Um, we also had the issue of a change of DBA. Uh, we had prematurely started to advertise and uh, 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 use the new name as part of the marketing uh, prior to it being approved by the commission. Again, I explained last time, part of the delay was because of the uh, beer and wine that kind of rolled into other violations, which we had to remedy. So um, we'd like to, we, we see this as an opportunity to, to turn the page um, internally, Mr. Uh, Papa can talk about this. Uh, we have hired um, a manager to operate the day-to-day -day operations of the restaurant. Um, I think if we approve tonight, uh, Mr. Patrick will be spending uh, uh, significant time to make sure that everything is operating the way it should. I think uh, previously when you hire a manager, you expect certain things to happen, and they weren't happening, so um, he's taking a vested interest in making sure that they are abiding by all the rules of the city and the ordinances, um, but he is not going to be full-time at the restaurant and going. There will be a, a manager who will be managing the, the hiring and the staffing and the, um, uh, the daily operations of, of, of the restaurant. I know this is a CV um, and it's not like a beer and wine, but I think it was important for the commission to know that we, we have made internal changes um, uh, to hopefully uh, be on a different trajectory and stay on a positive note in terms of the operation of the restaurant. So is the previous manager no longer with you? Uh, the previous manager, uh, well, she's, uh, she's a, an investor, so she is with the company, uh, but she's not going to be um, running the, the, the restaurant from a day-to-day -day perspective. Uh, she's going to be in the background. I guess I have to ask how much influence she has as an investor because uh, I have a lot of trouble with this this whole operation up there. I mean, it's pretty much had a check and pass of almost every violation you want to hear and say, I don't have a lot of confidence. I, I'm glad you withdrew the beer and wine because I have no intention of issuing a beer and wine personally to that location unless they have a proven track record. I'm even leery of the CV update based upon the track record that's been shown so far. So I guess, you know, you need to show me that something is going to change. It's a very small footprint in there and, and you know, it has to be managed well for it to operate safely. Who was the new manager that you're talking about? Uh, his name is Vijay Kumar uh, Malakko. I mean, he's uh, Vijay Kumar, B I J A Y K U M A R. Vijay Kumar. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he's, uh, he's been a manager uh, for uh, over five, six, seven years, uh, uh, four or five years, and, I, uh, and then he's managed uh, restaurants, uh, Indian restaurants um, of this size in uh, Quebec City. So uh, as far as how much influence the previous manager has, uh, she's a third uh, ownership in the, in the business, so we are uh, three people in there, so she's not playing the means the majority. Um, and, um, mostly, uh, you know, she can be overruled. And that's Miss Matthews. Yes. And I, I think equally as important, I think talking to all the, the group members, recognizing that the way that the current restaurant is being operated will will result in probably not having a restaurant. And so um, the choice was to, to make significant changes on a day-to-day -day operation or likely, you know, face. Uh, it wasn't quite clear. We didn't assume we'd even be approved if we just came in with the same. Uh, operation. So I, I think that the importance of, of what's happened has not been lost. I think at the previous hearing, I personally wasn't quite clear on what had happened, but I think through the course of the last couple of months, it's been clear there were issues at the restaurant. And even though uh, some of them might have been minor, when you add in all of them over the course of the last past two years, um, they are significant. So we don't take this lightly. Um, it's not a large restaurant, but it has to be managed well. Um, we're hoping that if the commission approves this tonight, that financially, even outside of the violations, that we'll be able to be in existence. It's not clear that area doesn't get a whole lot of foot traffic. Uh, to be frank, being closed and having violations doesn't help, and it's our responsibility. Um, so we have a lot of work to do with our customer base as well. We really like to show the commission that we can operate well without incident, um, and, and hopefully we can do that. I mean, the violations in and of themselves were for trouble, but Ms. Matthew's attitude in denial of the issues was even more troubling to me that I had no confidence that anything was going to change for any significant period of time. So, Agreed. And uh, I think we, we've learned from that and we've talked to the other operators and you can be an investor, you know, and, and they all want to protect your investment, but it's different than being a day-to-day -day manager and making management decisions, which I frankly hadn't worked. And, uh, you mentioned a cease and desist order, so that was issued by the city, the Inspectional Services Department, or yes. are you, that's yes. what you're talking exactly. about? exactly. Is that still in effect, or has that been resolved? Um, so I think part of tonight, um, one wasn't the violations, but uh, the existing corporation, the, on the existing license, was no longer in effect. Um, that was one of the issues, so I believe part of having a, a valid C CV that has been approved by the commission, um, as well as approval of the DBA uh, would be one of the requirements to be able to be open, but uh, I don't know if there's anything to add to that. Yes, I spoke with um, Ms. Fernandez, and they are fine with the cleanup that's been done, and there's no longer any problems there. They would issue a food handler's permit if we had issued a CV. Um, they had to be closed. The CV was in the name, the company name was Medora LLC, which um, ceased doing business in 2014, despite the fact that Ms. Matthews kept telling me that Medora was still the operating body. Um, in fact, it was Ramen Restaurant Group. They had never come in and applied for a CV. So in essence, they were operating without any licenses or permits. They had no food handlers permits. So they have not been operating now for a while, I guess. Um, how long have you not been operating? Uh, over a month. Almost a month. Over a month. Okay. It's only uh, late September, I believe. Okay. Oh, I'd just like to add one thing. Uh, the in initial application had 22 seats um, as part of the CV application. I conferred with uh, inspectional services and so the premises is only licensed for 20 seats. Um, I did check the floor plan that we submitted and it actually has only 20 seats. So um, we want to, if, if you choose to approve, we would want to make sure that correction that it would be 20 seats because that's all that we're licensed uh, to be able to have um, at this point. And then the eight patio outdoor seats on public property, uh, that, that would have to be vetted by um, inspectional services, making sure that they have the, the Public works. Oh, excuse me, public works. Um, they have the, the requisite uh, width and dimension, uh, but we still would like that to be part of our CD. Um, and obviously, that would be something for the spring, summer months, if the commission chose to do that as well. 
And you know you also need to go to the city council for the public sidewalk That's seating. Right. Uh, you mentioned Mr. Kumar has experience, over five years experience at other restaurants. Could you name some of those restaurants? Well, they're not here. Uh, they're not in Massachusetts, but oh, so I can, uh, sorry. Um, I can, Mr. Kumar. He's actually oh, here. Yes, sure. Come on up. But uh, I'm going to let him speak. Okay. Yeah. Could you talk about your experience as a restaurant manager? Yes, I, I've been uh, part of the Taj uh, group of hotels in India. And uh, I've been a restaurant manager there and taking care of the uh, restaurant as well as the uh, stewarding department, which is a chief, mostly um, taking care of the hygiene part of uh, the hotel industry, all of it. So I've been taking care of that for as a as an um, additional charge at, from the you know, restaurant manager. And I've been working as a restaurant manager in Mauritius for uh, two restaurant companies since uh, 2008 to 2014. Have you worked in this country at all? Uh, no, I recently you know, joined uh, them to uh, take a look at the uh, Finding some uh, problem to run this account, so to help them to uh, run this property well and you know, find some issues, get rid of things. Uh, so I just went and to help them to run this better. So, so are you before us tonight on the DBA? approval as well as a CV license? That's right. Okay. Um, are any members of the public here to be heard on this issue? Yes. Hi, Kim Courtney, C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y. I just wanted to note, I don't see the CV or DBA um, noticed for this hearing. Okay, thank you. It's on the agenda that was posted in a timely fashion. Okay. Um, anyone else? Thanks. Um, any questions from the other commissioners? No, nothing further. Okay. Executive Director? No. Okay. So would you like to make a motion? I will make a motion that we approve the CV for this location and the manager with the stipulation that we do a six month review. Second? I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Chair, mask for clarification. I'm just what confused. sort of clarification? I'm confused. What was just passed? Is that a purchase of the restaurant? Yeah, a CV license and a change of manager. A new CV under a different corporation, so purchase. A new CV. Okay. Next matter. Oh, thank you. 